in this video I will make something really different again. I will build these speakers and they will be matching speaker for my daydreaming room. I have same color here, pine, wood, side panels and stuff like that. And this is the famous Amiga speaker. So in this video I will build it and next video I will test it. Enjoy!
Thank you.
Yeah, I just painted the cabinets or the enclosures and uh, I used the house paint. It's just the same paint what I painted the room where these speakers are going. And uh, the side panels I will attach later. I have to custom fit them to every side because there is a little bit small measurements going one millimeter that way and and uh, I didn't have a decent saw, you uh, see, saw me when I was sewing, so the miters are a little bit fucked up and they're not perfect. I have to patch them a little bit now and uh, then uh, sand it and uh, paint it again. And I used the paintbrush and uh, you know, the little bit the foam stick and uh, Job is okay. I will sand it. I don't know how it's going to work. I just hate the orange peel look. It looks like a house wall. So I rather I will rather watching uh, Bruce strokes than uh, that apple thingy. But I bet they will be okay. And uh, I I know you're thinking that oh my god, he used the paintbrush and pine wood, but. That's how the room looks and it's a, uh, our house is actually, it's built in 1940 and uh, renovated 40 years later, 1982. My uncle made a big changes in the house and it, it, it looks like 80s and uh, I made a renovation there also 40 years later, 2021. And uh, so it's a uh, mixed up like 19... 1980s and uh, uh, 2020. So the speakers will be more like the 80s style, but uh, it's uh, of course the modern uh, driver and that uh, tweeter, so it should be okay. And uh, I just can't wait the paint to, to dry. This is so much waiting all the time, I just have to wait the the glue to dry, the paint to dry, I have to wait the drivers to come from the mail and uh, of course it's uh, sanding all the time so I'm really glad I bought the orbital sander, the cheap one it's uh, surprisingly good and I have uh, the vacuum cleaner which had the thing that I can uh, attach it to the machine and there's the button that it starts automatically when I'm starting to use the machine which attached to the vacuum cleaner. So that was a good buy. But I will talk later about this build in the video where I'm going to test it later. In this video I will just uh, build these, these guys and, uh, and uh, I, I will do a, a quick test. I did buy a amp already for these speakers so I can test it when it's ready that it's working. I can use my movie room here down, uh, this is a different building than our main building. I have a movie room here, I have there the 5.1 system, I have a home theater amp, uh, but I will uh, test the, 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 the new stereo amp amplifier, it's class D, uh, it's, it's SMS, SMSL A300 maybe. I can check that later, but we can test maybe uh, some of the speakers from my home theater system also, so we can have some kind of uh, reference point to the reference speakers. Yeah, I'm really waiting these two, that I can get these to our, uh, we call it the dreaming house, uh, dreaming room. I want to get them there, the room cleaned and then listening the music but i have to wait the stupid paint to dry it's taking so much time